Today's Indigenous Peoples Day. It's the day that we remember the native peoples that were in this land when people from the West, from Europe, uh, accidentally lost their way and landed here. In, in the old way of uh, speaking of it, discovered this land, <laughs> discovered a land that was already inhabited. <laughs> They discovered this land that was full of people. Uh, there were people here in this area called the Ohlone people. The Ohlones uh, had somewhere around 50 groups, tribes, nations, depending on how you want to describe it. And the estimate is that when the Spanish arrived here, there were 300,000 people living here. It's why the word discovery seems not quite right. Those 300,000 people that were here over the first 60 years uh, fell by 50,000 people, that population. But the Ohlone people are actually part of uh, a massacre that happened once California came into the Union. Some people call it a genocide because over 20 years, 120,000 Ohlone people were massacred. And so in this place, we grieve with them, the loss of their people, the loss of their sovereignty, the loss of their culture in many ways, pieces that that disappeared with those 120,000 people. And we celebrate the strength that they survived in part all the way until today. You can go online and, and learn a lot about the Ohlone people, see some of the things that they have released, videos of, of celebrations that they have. It's important for us, though, as Christians, to pay attention to Indigenous People Day. Because the Spanish that came thought of themselves as missionaries. In their mind, they were bringing Jesus to these people. And that mindset that we bring God, that we bring Jesus places, it's just not quite right. God is everywhere. The, the Jewish and Christian scriptures are clear that the Spirit of God is at work all over the world all the time. That God loves all people everywhere. That God blesses and does good things for all people everywhere. It means that we don't get to bring the Spirit of God anywhere. Every time we arrive in a place, the Spirit is already there at work. And as Christians, our goal, as, as people who follow Jesus, our goal has to be to pay attention wherever we are, to find where the Spirit of God is at work and to join in the work that God has already been doing. And I'm going to give you a hint. That is never massacring people. So, as we end this time, I, I wanted to share you uh, a poem by one of my favorite Native American poets. It's called Mercy. It's by Joy Harjo. It says, Mercy, on this morning where in the air is a flash of what could be the salvation of spring after all this winter. I mean, it wasn't just devil snow that rode us hard. Mail me to Jamaica. I want to lie out on steaming beaches, find my way back through glacier ice another way. Forget the massacres, proclamations of wars, rumors of wars, 
I won't pour a rifle shot through the guts of someone I'm told is my enemy. Hell, my own enemy is right here. Can you look inside? See past the teeth worn down by meat and anger? Can you see? Sometimes the only filter is a dead cat in the road. Sucks your belly up to your teeth in fear of what might happen to you. All your sins chase you in the street. String what you thought was the only you into a grassy field. I want to enter the next world filled with food, wine, and the finest fishing. Safe. So safe. Like a beach in Jamaica where bloodstains have already soaked through to the bottom of the Caribbean so you don't have to see unless this light becomes a bayonet of sound, hands of fire, to lead you to yourself until you cry, mercy. May the words of this poet draw you deeper into the presence of God. May it draw you into an awakening where you can find the Spirit of God at work where you are and join that Spirit in the work of God in your world.